Welcome to the Game House Overwatch League recap. Let's jump right into night three. The first game of the day was between two teams who have been looking better than ever, the Gladiators and the Mayhem. The first map, Volskaya, was incredibly close and the Mayhem almost took the win, but Surefour went Super Saiyan and made it a tie instead. The Mayhem grabbed Nepal 2-0, making everyone think they could defeat the surging Gladiators. Halftime has been a great reset button for most teams, and the Gladiators took full advantage of it. They looked better than ever on Hollywood, pulling out May and Reaper to win the map 3-1. Because of the tie, the fourth map was the match point for either team. Sadly for the Mayhem though, Los Angeles seemed to be right at home on the second payload map too, winning Route 66 convincingly and winning the series 2-1. Match 2 was between the London Spitfire and the San Francisco Shock. Starting off on Volskaya, we saw the Stage 1 champions floundering against another bottom half team. They were unable to capture the second point, but thankfully, London were barely able to pull it out and win the map 1-0. Nepal started off well for London as well, and they took the first point in top form. San Francisco made it close on the second point, but the Spitfire took that one too, winning the map 2-0. At this point, it was looking like it would be a cleanup job for the Spitfire. Hollywood, however, did not convince us of that. London weren't able to get a single point, and the Shock grabbed the two ticks needed to win the map. Route 66 was a bit of a return to form for London, but their attack was predictably weak, as this match has shown us. They were barely able to get the win in overtime, but playoffs don't look like quite as sure of a thing as last time. We still had one match left to play, as the LA Valiant took the stage alongside the Boston Uprising. Volskaya saw both teams pull off full attacks, but the Uprising had the time bank advantage and secured the win in the second round. Li Jiang gave us another close match. Kariz Reaper helped the Valiant secure the first point, but Boston was able to come back and win one before LA closed it out on the third map. With a tie on our hands, this match was definitely living up to the hype set up by the end of Stage 1. The Valiant pulled off a super clutch 3 point finish, but Boston yet again bested their time and took the time bank advantage. They closed it out in the second round and went up in the series 2-1. to one. The LA Valiant weren't able to get the third point on Route 66, but they also were able to stop Boston from getting the second, bringing the match to a Game 5. This series had been incredibly back and forth. Therefore, of course, Ilios gave a point to either team before the victor was decided. Ruins let both teams shine for a bit, but the Uprising barely secured the win on the last possible map, winning the series 3-2. That's all she wrote for this recap. Make sure to check back tomorrow for our last one of the week. You can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. Those links are listed below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And from our house to yours, keep it here at the Game House for all your sports and esports needs.